what is this funny looking device and how does it work and what does it do? Well, before we dive into the details of the meter adapter, I wanna take a look with you at a main electrical panel and open up the main electrical panel. And what you're gonna notice inside of this main electrical panel is that the meter itself lands on a socket with specific connections, which allow the electrical current from the utility to pass through those connections and then be transferred to the bus bar, which has all the breakers and feeds the home. Notice, everything is all in one here. The meter lands on a socket, which is part of one electrical component. This specific type of main electrical panel is called a combination panel. And the combination panel is very, very common and the primary type of panel you're gonna find in the Western United States. Because of code and code adoption, this panel was primarily the one that was installed in most homes in California, Arizona, Oregon, while on the East Coast, they have a different type of panel. This panel has the power coming in from the utility directly to the meter socket, which then passes through the meter and it's all in one. Okay, now let's look at that other type of panel that you'll see more commonly on legacy homes on the East Coast. What it is, is it looks similar to a sub panel. It's basically a main electrical panel that has a main breaker on it. And it's separated from the socket, which has the meter on it. In this case, the current from the grid comes into this meter socket, goes through the meter, and then gets fed through conduit, sometimes underground, sometimes overhead, but it's mostly underground, into a main panel that's located in the garage, on an outdoor post, sometimes in a interior closet. Regardless of the location, what you'll notice is the meter socket and the meter itself, which is owned by the utility, owned from a kind of liability, able to work on, able to touch. Technically, the utility actually pays for and owns the meter itself because that's their billing device and, and kind of measurement device to charge homeowners for energy that they use. That's separate from the homeowner's components. In this combination panel, everything is all in one. Okay, so the current feeds in here. And if you see the difference between these two, you can imagine in this scenario here, it's actually relatively easy to get between the electrical meter, which the utility owns, as I mentioned earlier, and the electrical equipment, which the homeowner owns. 